Hey Google Admins, this is Goldie again. In this video, I'll show you how you can leverage Google Apps Script to bulk update or patch a user's existing license from, let's say, Enterprise or Enterprise Plus or some other license to Google Frontline Worker License, okay? So with that, let me share my screen and make it more clear. What I'm trying to do here is uh, first, I'll go to my organizational unit. I have two users here. When I click on that, one of the users, you will see that this user has enterprise license assigned. Same case with the second user. He also has uh, enterprise plus license assigned. Now in your case, instead of just two, you might have a few hundred users and you want to assign these users or update their license to Google frontline worker SKU or maybe some other license of course it will work in that scenario too okay so for that you don't need uh, to write script unless you want it to you can just copy and paste the script from my blog post I'll, I'll link that under this video too so first step is you will go to sheets and create a new Google sheet let's call it sheet dot sheets dot new create a new sheet let's call it uh, FLW assignment you can be as descriptive as you want and then you will go to extensions click on app script and here let's give our script a name maybe FLW script and then remove the whatever you see by default default function here and this is the script that you will copy from my website and paste it here okay once you paste it, I've made it static, so I know that's not a good idea. Really, I should have made variables here, but I'm uh, in process of publishing an, an add-on to Google Marketplace where you don't need to even run those scripts. You can just use that uh, you know, add-on from your Google Sheet itself. Okay, so what we are doing here is we are uh, reading the user's email addresses from the sheet. So here it says update licenses that the uh, Google Sheet it's looking for. So I'll copy that name, come back to my sheet and change or rename the sheet name to update licenses. If you don't prefer to uh, change it, whatever you have here, the sheet name, you should put that here too, okay? And after that, uh, it's calling uh, the Google admin uh, license, not the admin, but Google enterprise license API. So you need to enable that service. And for that, you will come here under services, click on the plus icon to add a service, scroll down a bit and you will find enterprise license manager API, click on that. Don't change the identifier because that's the default that I'm using. If you change it here, then make sure you change it here too. Okay, just add it. That's added. Uh, okay, uh, what else? Uh, now you will, just for your reference, you can also go to uh, Enterprise License API documentation in Google. So for example, this is how you will go to search for Google Enterprise License API. Go here, and then if you look here, it says products and SKUs, click on that. And here you can see the product ID SKU ID product name and SKU name for different products. In my case, I'm changing or updating the license or patching the license from Enterprise Plus to Frontline. In your case, if the combination is something else, that should ideally still be working, okay? So, all you need to do is, once you have done all these steps so far shown in this video, you will enter the new license details here. In my case, new license is the frontline license. So for example, product ID is this, okay? And then SKU ID for the frontline worker is, you know, this one, which I already added here. User ID is essentially user's email ID that we are fetching or reading from the Google Sheet. So I'll leave it just like that. And here in this line, you will be adding the details about the old or already assigned license. In my case, the existing license is Enterprise Plus. So if I go back and look at this sheet, Google hyphen apps is the product ID. And then for Enterprise Plus, uh, this is the SKU ID. So I've put that here. User ID again, we will be reading from the sheet itself. Once that's done, uh, you will come back to the sheet and let's add the first column here, uh, which is user 
email ID and maybe we can call this status okay and here you will be putting the list of your users for example I have these two users you might have a few hundred users that's fine all you need to do is just copy and paste their addresses here mine is okay sir two okay so these two addresses and the script will loop reading all these emails here and then um, it will look for their old license which is uh, this one and then replace it with the new license details okay so I'll click on run because this is the first time the script is running so it should ideally be asking for my authorization I will authorize it with my admin account okay I'll review the permissions if you need uh, you can even just click on these exclamations mark and read the more permissions that it's looking for and it does not have any connection with me once you copy and paste the script it's just running locally in your environment without any connections to me I will not be getting any data uh, if you're okay with that just go ahead and click allow to let the script run and if things go fine uh, it will be reading all the email addresses and I'll do the license patch if I go back to my sheet you will see that script came back saying license updated successfully now if I just go to this and it still says enterprise license assigned but sometimes take it, it takes a few seconds so when I click on that enterprise plus that's fine let's do refresh and there you go front line uh, same case I think for the second one as well if I click on that user scroll down and it has the front line assigned okay so this is how you can uh, you know you can uh, up patch or update existing license to the required one now essentially you can re you can use this script not for just enterprise plus to front line you can use it for any license type all you need to do is just go to this product table and uh, for example if you need to let's say replace uh, business starter to let's say uh, business uh, plus you can just put uh, the new license details here and the old license details here put your uh, column of users that you want uh, the license update to trigger run it that is it so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions comments or feedback do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate with that thank you so much